Now let us see why the volume of a sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Once we get the formula for volume of sphere, we know that hemisphere has half the capacity of the sphere, right? Because the sphere is being cut into two equal parts. So it will have half the capacity of the sphere. So why is the volume of the sphere 4 by 3 pi r cube? Once we get that, we know the volume of the hemisphere will be 2 by 3 pi r cube, half of that, right? So let's see why. For which we will consider two other shapes, a cylinder and a cone, okay? Now, there are some dimensions kept in mind, okay? So over here, we know this circle has same radius as that of the sphere. This cylinder and the circle also have same radius. Same way, this cone also has the same radius, okay, as that of the circle. So basically, the cone, the cylinder and the sphere have same radius, okay, same radii. Now coming to the height, because when you consider the volume of the cylinder and volume of the cone, height is important dimension. So over here, the height of the cylinder is twice the radius, okay? So height of the cylinder is twice the radius, even the height of the cone is twice the radius. Over here, circle, which has same radius. Now, let's confirm this. So you can see the radius, this is the radius length, okay? This radius ka length. Hai. And this height of the triangle, ka, this is the diameter of the circle, that is twice r, okay? So this, this height is nothing but twice r, okay? So height of this cylinder, okay, height of the cylinder is twice the radius. Same way, height of this cone is twice the radius. So, I'll show this in a better way. Okay? I see. So, according to that, the slant height is chosen. So, this is the slant height of the cone. Okay. It is a slant height. Hai. It is taken according to the height and the radius. Okay. Volume of the cylinder is pi r square h. So, it will be 2 pi r cube. Right. If you take h as 2 r, then it will be 2 pi r cube. Same way, volume of the cone. It is 1 by 3 pi r square h. So, it will be 2 by 3 pi r cube if you take h as twice r. Okay. Volume of the cylinder. Okay. This cylinder will be equal to the volume of the cone plus the volume of the sphere. So let's pour the tea into the cylinder. Okay. So now pouring. So if you add up the volumes of these two shapes, it is equal to the volume of this cylinder. Now solving this, what will you get the volume of the sphere? Volume of the sphere will be 4 by 3 pi r cube, right? It will be 2 pi r cube minus 2 by 3 pi r cube, which gives you 4 by 3 pi r cube. So therefore, the volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. And hemisphere will have half the volume, which is 2 by 3 pi r cube. Right? Now, if you consider a spherical shell, that is a sphere which is empty from inside. Okay, So spherical shell, hai. now what will be the volume of the spherical shell? That is, what is the volume of the plastic used to make this shell? Okay, This whole shell, this whole shell will be a sphere. Okay, So what will be the volume of the plastic required to make this spherical shell? Let's say that the outer radius is capital R. All right? So it will be 4 by 3 pi capital R cube. And this plastic ball has some thickness. Okay, It has some thickness. Now, therefore, inner radius will be little less than the outer radius. Right? Inner radius will be less than the outer radius. So inner radius, let's say it is smaller. So what will be the inner volume of the internal volume of this sphere? It will be 4 by 3 pi small r cube. So what is the volume of the plastic required? It will be outer volume minus inner volume. So that will give you 4 by 3 pi capital R cube minus small r cube. Okay, so that is why the volume of the spherical shell will be 4 by 3 pi capital R cube minus small r cube. All right.